and I'm not a doctor, so I don't know any about uh, anything about that, and that's a personal choice. But once you get to the situation where you've got where you are now, where not only do you have these very clear segregations of people according to their medical choices, but you have an ongoing demonization of people who are not vaccinated, encouraged by authorities, okay, encouraged very openly by many people in authority, then you are in a really nasty place. And it doesn't matter at that what point what you think about vaccination or whether you've been vaccinated, by the way, because plenty of people who have been vaccinated are extremely disturbed about what's going on as well. But this kind of divide and rule tactic or whatever the hell it is, is not anything that should be happening in a society that wants to hold itself together. Yeah, my first um, curiosity, I think, for uh, maybe we'll start with Paul is, I mentioned, uh, you know, your series, The Vaccine Moment of one part one, part two and three that have recently come out. And I would love to just hear a little bit about what was it that spurred you to write that series um, in the sense of the context of your own work? What was it that, you know, called you forth to be willing to to speak, uh, you know, about that, this issue in particular? Yeah, well, the answer really is, um, I suppose the answer is seeing what was going on in the world. Um, and it seems to have happened to a lot of other people as well, particularly over the last month or six weeks, including maybe Charles. Uh, I don't know, but we both seem to have stuck our heads above a parapet at a similar time, interestingly. Um, I mean, look, what did it for me was watching the beginning of segregation in society. I mean, look, I live in Ireland, so we have vaccine passports here. We've had them for six months. Now, I'm not vaccinated myself, although plenty of my friends are, and I don't have any particular opinion about whether anybody should be vaccinated. It's a personal choice and it makes it, you know, it depends what makes sense for you. But um, there was a very, very clear point at which, or maybe it wasn't a clear point, maybe it was the beginning of a, of, of a, of a longer change, in which the narrative around this conversation about COVID started to change quite significantly. Um, and at the beginning, when we had lockdowns and we had mask mandates and we had emergency measures and all sorts of stuff coming in from all sorts of governments around the world, they were all things that everybody could legitimately argue about. Were, was, was it right to have a lockdown? Did it work? Does it work in Sweden? Should, it, should we do it here, et cetera, et cetera? All these conversations were going on. But whatever you thought about any of that, everybody was in the same boat. And what changed, um, certainly it changed in my country about six months ago, and it started to change here when the vaccines came in, um, was the segregation. It was the passports. It was the mandates in particular. It was seeing in Austria, particularly the thing that tipped me over the edge was seeing unvaccinated people locked down when vaccinated people were not locked down. And at that point, doubts I was having already started to turn into very loud alarm bells. Um, because as I say, whatever you think about the vaccine, whatever you think about COVID, those are legitimate things to have conversations about. I, I, you know, I'd rather not talk about them, to be honest. <laughs> We'd all rather not be talking about blooming vaccines. And I'm not a doctor, so I don't know any about, uh, anything about that. And that's a personal choice. But once you get to the situation where you've got where you are now, where not only do you have these very clear segregations of people according to their medical choices, but you have an ongoing demonization of people who are not vaccinated, encouraged by authorities, okay, encouraged very openly by many people in authority, then you are in a really nasty place. And it doesn't matter at that what point what you think about vaccination or whether you've been vaccinated, by the way, because plenty of people who have been vaccinated are extremely disturbed about what's going on as well. But this kind of divide and rule tactic or whatever the hell it is, is not anything that should be happening in a society that wants to hold itself together. It's not justified by the science. OK, because the vaccines don't prevent transmission of the virus. We know that. But even if it was, even if it was, you don't get to do this kind of thing without a debate in a country that calls itself a democracy. And it was very clear to me that that was wrong. Um, and I just I'm a writer. So what could I do? Not write about it. I could, it wasn't feasible at some point. I had to, I had to just say something. Uh, and I'm glad I did, whatever the consequences of that are, because it is just very frightening to me what's happening. And as I say, it's not for me a particular debate about a medical technology. It's a debate about the systems that are rising around it very quickly now. Mm. Um, and that, you know, I'm hardly the only person to brought that up. But for me personally, it was something I had to finally say something about. 